Hey everyone, Trevor Sikama welcoming you into the Thanksgiving edition of Favorite Fits, the mock draft show where I list off all the things that I am thankful for in TDN's latest mock draft. This week, we have Dre Harris's mock draft 3.0, which dropped this past Monday. And in it, we got a handful of picks that we got to talk about because I really loved the fits of them. Denver Broncos, number 15, they took Texas edge rusher Joseph Osai. I really like this one, so I wanted to start out with it. I am not one of those people that thinks the Broncos are desperate for an edge rusher. They could use one, but it doesn't have to be here in the first round. I still have plenty of faith in Vaughn Miller and Bradley Chubb as a duo, starting strong in 2021. However, with little depth behind them, I think Osai can bring plenty of value, even if it's in a, a rotation here in the next year or so. Osai is having a fantastic season off the edge for the Longhorns. He's the type of hybrid linebacker that I think Fangio could work wonders with whether Miller is there or not. Next, we go to the Philadelphia Eagles at number 19, where Dre has them taking Alabama wide receiver Devontae Smith. Now, look, I know that Smith isn't going to be the consensus wide receiver one in this class. There's going to be some rankings that he's higher on, some rankings that he's lower on. I don't care. This pick is perfect for Philadelphia. Smith's combination of route running, reliable hands, and just straight domination has made him one of the greatest college football wide receivers of all time, statistically speaking. If this is the pick, it can make him the number one in Philly, whether that's as a slot player or in any position as an outside receiver as well. Smith can do it all. Philly has to get a guy like that. They desperately need a player like Smith. Last but not least, I had to give a shout out to the Raiders pick where Dre has them taking Georgia pass rusher Aziz Ojolari. Now, when I look at the offensive side for the Raiders, I think they're pretty set. I like the guys in the offensive line when they're healthy. The wide receiver core is coming together. Darren Waller looks unstoppable at times. I love Josh Jacobs. Derek Carr has been great this season. I think they're pretty set on offense. I think that for the first round, they've really got to switch it to looking at defense, specifically that defensive line. Ojolari gives that defense some much needed juice to get after the passer. This also shouldn't be the only defensive line pick that they make in this draft. Next couple of rounds, I think they can pick it up another one, but getting Ojolari here at the end of round one, this makes a lot of sense to me. That's all the mock drafting from me this week. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure you go over to the Draft Network, check out all three rounds of Dre's latest mock draft, and let us know what your favorite part is in the comments below.